pay-per-view fighter, and he proved it again with his third straight headlining fight against Isaac Cruz, no less on a Sunday. Yeah, again, as we always say, as Floyd always says, levels to this. And, and again, um, Javante Davis has proven that he's an attraction and one of the biggest attractions in the sport, and he's one of the best fighters in the entire world. How, when you were watching the fight, Leonard, what was your thoughts? I thought it was a tremendous fight, and I think that both guys, their stocks are have risen, you know, with the fact of that they both went at it throughout the course of the fight over 12 rounds. Oh, no doubt. It was all action. And, and again, you know, I, I, I keep saying this, that you guys got to stop disrespecting these fighters, calling them bums just because they don't have high-profile names, you know. It was, it was uh, Isas Cruz Super Bowl tonight. These guys are going to get up each and every night when they're fighting the best in the division. I've seen it over the last 25 years when guys were fighting for it. They're just going to get up and they're going to bring their best and you just have to be prepared. And Tank showed you why he's at the level that he is. Again, um, I thought Tank boxed really well. You know, um, and again, hats off to Cruz. He fought a terrific fight. If you have questions for Leonard Ellerby, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, by all means, raise your hand. And got a question over here. And uh, Eric Roman with Boulevard Boxing. Uh, looking look forward to Bud in the future. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 147 pounds. Javante Davis is 135 pounds. <laughs> People move up all the time. Maybe they can meet in the middle. Tank is 135 pounds. Next question. Wait for the mic to come your way. Keith Addicts got a question for you, Leonard. How close of a fight did you see it as from, from your vantage point? Well, we weren't really scoring it. I wasn't. I Tank clearly won to me, you know, a unanimous decision. Um, it was a good fight. Um, Tank, he showed his boxing skills. You know, um, we knew Cruz's style. He was a pressure, pressure fighter, comes forward. Tank kept turning him and turning him. And it was, it was evident that Tank's hand was hurt. At some point early in the fight, I knew, you know, he had had a little damage, you know, in camp, but um, no excuses. Hats off to Cruz. He fought a terrific fight, and we expected that. More questions for Mike? And Leonard, Mike Coventry, SBN. Uh, first off, you know, obviously takes another great turnout for him. Three, you know, a couple of fights in, what, two fights this year. 2022, is this going to be the year we get the big, big fight though for Tank? Like one of the, maybe the Ryan Garcia's, the Devin Haney's. What do you see for him? Well, any fight that Tank fights in is a big fight. And no disrespect, Mike, but the guys that you guys say are the big fights, they're not big fights. Tank Davis is, is the cash cow in the division, and he showed you again tonight, you know, come out west and, you know, another sellout. And again, his levels to what he's doing. But again, we're going to continue to fight the top guys out there, um, and everyone just have to keep on leveling up. No, we'll, we'll look, agree that Tank Davis is definitely the biggest star in the division, but surely a fight with Ryan Garcia or Devin Haney does way bigger numbers than a fight with Cruz. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying this wasn't a good event, it was. But I'm saying next year, like, what, what, like, what's I would love, I would love to see Tank fight the biggest names they're out there and whoever continues to prove themselves. But the guys that you say, not you personally, but they say who are the best guys out there. Like, for instance, I think Isaac Cruz is better than some of these guys that you're talking about. You know, just because he doesn't have a big name, just because he doesn't have a big name, how do you think he would have did against a Ryan Garcia, for an example, tonight? There you go. <laughs> But, but to, answer your, to answer your question, whatever the fans want, that's what we're going to give them. But we're going to do it on our terms. And I'm going to continue to say that, on our terms. We're not going to go out there again and overpay a fighter just because y'all say he's a big name fighter. It don't work like that. The business doesn't work like that. We're not in the, in the business of fucking off money like some of these other promoters.